Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, it's Wendy and I am back with the second half of our um, resin tutorial. We did the keychains, poured a bunch of keychains last night and some Hermé tails. And I am going to show you how those look, how they turned out. And we're going to pour the clear layer over these to seal in the letters. And we're going to pour a couple more mermaid tails. And I've already taken a couple of these mermaid tails out of the, um, the molds. So right now, I'm mixing this resin. As you can see, it's really cloudy right now. And I need to mix it until it is clear, totally clear. And it's kind of weird looking in there. Maybe that's just bubbles. It almost looks like it has lumps in there or something, which is not a good thing if it does. So I'm mixing it up. Again, I use this Easy Cast Resin, Amazing Clear Cast, I'm sorry, is what it's called, Amazing Clear Cast. And you can get it at Hobby Lobby, you can get it at Michael's, you can get it just about anywhere. And it's one-to-one, -one. you mix the resin, resin and the hardener one-to-one -one ratios. And I use these little medicine cups because they're really easy to measure it accurately. Um, you want to get it accurate or it won't set up right. Definitely, if you have more res resin than hardener, it won't set up right. If you have more hardener than resin, you're probably going to be okay, but I don't know. You really want to just get it even. Um, but you definitely don't want more resin than hardener because it will not get hard. It'll stay soft, and that is really aggravating. Okay, so I've got it mixed up, I think, pretty good here. So, what we've done... If you remember last night, we poured the green, we had the WVU colors, and I have stuck stickers in here on all of these. So I've got WVs on all of the blue and gold ones for WVU. I have an A on this one just for an initial, an S on this one, MU for the Marshalls. And then what I've done here is I've taken what's called Perlex powder. It looks like this in the resin it's got a real pearly sheen to it it's very pretty and i've poured blue and white because we have another college here <laughs> near us we have a lot of colleges around um university of kentucky and their colors are blue and white and some people have been asking me why aren't you doing any uk stuff so i'm like okay i'm gonna do some uk stuff and there's a little glitter in this wvu one that i need to get out so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the resin and just pouring a clear layer over top of the letter, letter stickers that I stuck on. And I didn't make you watch me do the letter stickers because it's really tedious. <laughs> I mean, you have to cut them and make sure they fit just right. And I don't know. It's just a lot of, a lot of tedious. Now, I had this um, little dog charm for this um, one that had just the pink se or purple sequins in it that I poured last night. And I just stuck this little silver dog charm in there. I know you cannot see that little silver dog charm, but if I tip it, it's gonna dump the resin out. And it's just a little silver charm. I'll show you all of these when they come out tomorrow, when I take them out of the molds. I'll show them all to you up close so you can see exactly, you know, what the letters look like and what the stickers look like on there and everything. So right now I'm just making sure that there's a thin layer covering each one and sealing in the stickers that I put on. And you just want a thin layer, it doesn't have to be real thick, but it needs to completely cover. And you wanna make sure that all your stickers are stuck down good because sometimes they'll float to the top and that's aggravating. Do I have any, I don't have any on that one yet, okay. All right, so I think I've got them all poured. I poured a few and then my camera quit and I had to <laughs> restart it. I didn't delete my video from yesterday and apparently this camera only lets you record so much. So, okay, so they're all in there. Now, um, here are the mermaid tails. These turned out really pretty. Here is the green one with the purple sequins. And what I'll do is I'll take clear nail polish and paint over top of this and it will make it shiny just like this side. And if you have any sequins that stick out or any edges that stick out, you can just take scissors and trim them. I don't want to do it over top of this because it might fall in there. But that's that one. This one is so pretty. This orange one, look how pretty that is. 
there's your little orange hearts in there. There's the back of it. And I'll trim it up so it doesn't have all these little orange hearts sticking out everywhere. But And then I'll paint it with clear nail polish and I'll show you all that on tomorrow's video. And then this mermaid tail, um, it didn't have enough stuff to fill completely up to the top of the mold. So I think I'm going to try to make like a um, lime green or even pink background to pour on this. So let me see what I have in the way of glitters or powders. I think a lime green would be really pretty. And I thought I had lime green glitter. I do. Okay, so I think I'm just going to take some of this lime green glitter. Pour a little clear resin in a cup. It won't take a whole lot because it's a pretty thin layer that we need to pour and I'm going to put a lot of this in it but I'm going to do it over here so it doesn't get in my stuff that I've got poured right there. And I'll show you here in a second. So just a bunch of lime green glitter in the cup. In fact, I probably, no, I don't want to move it. Okay, and then you just stir it around. Put this on top. And I'm going to pour it in here to where it just brings the level up to the top of the mold so I don't end up having to sand it down when we're done. And it'll give a real pretty glittery background on there. So you just move it around to where it's in all the little edges and creases. It'll fill that all up and there's a little bit more here too. We'll be able to demold this one tomorrow and you'll be able to see it. It's going to be really pretty. I love the mermaid tails. I listed a bunch up on my website today. My website is www.beadonawirejewelry. If anyone's interested, um, I have a bunch of jewelry up there. I have a bunch of keychains, mermaid tail necklaces, all kinds of stuff. You can go in there and order something if you want to. Okay, so there's that tail. It's going to be very green and glittery, and we're going to set it to the side here. Okay, now one thing. When you pour the clear layer on all of these, you have to be sure and get all the bubbles out. It's not like last night when we didn't have to worry about that too much. And my torch did not revive itself. So I have got here a blowtorch for cooking, which I don't like to use as much because it's very hot, and it will burn your resin if you're really not careful. So you got to be real careful doing this. you got to go real fast over the top of them. Don't stay in one place for even a second um, and try to get it all your bubbles out. I hate using this but I'm out of the torch and I don't have time to stop on the way home from work today. Okay so I will give that another coat in just a minute to get the rest of the bubbles out but Let's pour a couple more mermaid tails since I have, I've got some blue here left over from my UK stuff right there. So let's do a little blue. And we'll give it a blue body here. Oh, and all the yelling last night, I never did find out what it was. I think it was like a pep rally for the local high school football players or something. I have no idea, but I never figured it out. When I went outside right after I finished the video, they were like all in the parking lot over at the bank passing the football and like nobody was up near the street anymore, but there were all kinds of cars there and I could see them going in and out of the bank. So I'm guessing it was like a, I don't know, a pep rally or a fundraiser or something, but anyway. They were having a great old time. Okay, we've got a little bit of white left. So I'm gonna do the tops of the fins here. And this will run down a little, but it'll still stay a little bit too in the tops of these fins. And the, this resin is getting a little thick because it's been, well, it's not been that long since I mixed it, but for some reason it's getting kind of thick. I think when you put the Prolex powders in them, it makes them get thick a little quicker. So it should stay up in these little corners a little bit better. It's actually a good thing. Okay, 
So we've got blue on the bottom and white in the middle, or white on the top. I need to figure out something to put in the middle. So we've got a little bit of clear resin left here. Um, let's pour a little bit in here. Not very much because I really want to pour that other mermaid tail too. What would be pretty with blue and white, like in the middle? In the middle, some gold would be pretty, or silver. There's some chunky silver glitter. That would be kind of pretty. Let's do some of that. Chunky silver. I'll not take the lid off of it. I mean, the lid's not one. There we go. Okay, so we'll do chunky silver in there. Mix it around, and it's very chunky. If you can see that. It's like the consistency of thick oatmeal. Okay, and we're going to put it right in the middle here. Add it up into the white. Now it'll flow down in there. And it's going to create a layered effect that it'll be really pretty. Okay. So I just put it in here. Hopefully it'll kind of fill that up to the edge so I don't have to pour another layer on it tomorrow. I'd like to just be able to demold it and be done with it. But it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. I don't know. We'll have to see what it does. It looks like it's going to be a little low. That's kind of pretty though. I don't have any blue left. I've got a little tad bit of blue. Maybe I can squeeze a little bit out of it. <laughs> like a drop. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and now we have one more mermaid tail here. And let me think of what would be pretty to do. I've got pink. I've got purple and green. This one's got a lot of green in it. Like a turquoise would be nice. a turquoise. Maybe I could do like turquoise and gold. That would be pretty. There's orange. There's orange one. Ooh, orange and turquoise would be pretty, wouldn't it? Let's do that. I need more cups. Dixie cups. I go through like every one one Dixie cups and I buy these at the Dollar Tree and they are perfect for what I need them for. Okay, so let's pour a little bit of that in there. Okay, set this one aside, move this one up, <laughs> okay, now I'm going to do turquoise in here, turquoise glitter, it's really not a good idea to do this over top of what I've already poured that's wet, because I can see I've got a green heart in here. <laughs> Or orange heart, whatever that is. And I've got a piece of glitter in here that doesn't necessarily go with that one. Yeah, it's really not a good idea to do this over top of your work that you've got that's wet. Okay, here's the turquoise. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. That's going to make a really pretty mermaid tail. Okay. So let's pour a little in here. We'll start at the bottom. Pour it in, see how far it goes. I love these mermaid tails because you really can't mess them up. I mean, anything you do is really pretty on these. And then I buy the um, bubblegum beads and make bubblegum bead necklaces out of them for the little girls and they love them. Okay, so there's that. Now this one I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour the sequins in here because there's not enough to really get a different container again. Mix them around, just some orangey sequins. I think they'll be pretty with that turquoise though. Okay, let's put them in here. Uh-huh. 
had it been smart, I probably would have poured the sequins in the bottom half because they don't fit up in these little teeny cracks very well, but oh well, we're doing it. Okay, so that's really full. That one's going to be really full, and I think what I'm going to do with this one, I've got it on plastic because it's going to leak. So I think I might take some gold glitter. Yeah, like this one. Um, if this is an orangey gold, and if you can see this, I hope you can, barely. I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top of the orangey sequins only because I can see that there are a lot of just empty looking spots and I don't want there to be empty looking spots. So I'm gonna sprinkle that on there. Now, I've got a little bit of these orange sequins left. So I think I might put some of this in with this. So it fills in the clear. Let's stir that around. Maybe I can do a background. We can do just a round background of something. I hate to waste the resin, so I really like to use every bit that I can. So where's my round mold? I'm sorry guys, I'm not so organized tonight as I was last night. Where's my round mold? So in the round mold, I'm just going to pour this in one of the things and just make a, just another background for something. Keychain probably, who knows. I just hate to waste it. It's expensive and if you can get some little background out of there, then you can always put like a charm on it like I did that dog right there or you know, something like that. A letter, like I did those other ones. Okay, so we've got a little round orange background. Now this mermaid tail right here is like overflowing on everything, but I think it'll be okay. All right, I've got a mess in here today. Okay, so there is another little background with some sequins and stuff that will be pretty for something. Okay, so... To recap for tonight, we've got all of these WVU um, Marshall and these letter initial ones that I'm making um, covered with a clear layer. I'm going to torch them one more time. And again, you do not want to get this torch too close. Don't let it stay in one space too long or it will burn your resin. I've had it actually catch it on fire before. <laughs> That's not what you want to happen. So to recap, we poured two new mermaid tails, a blue and white one with some silver glitter in the middle, and a um, turquoise and orange one with some gold glitter on the edge to cover up any spaces where the orange sequins didn't fill in. We have poured a glitter layer on this one, which will be done tomorrow. We'll be able to pop it out and it'll be completely finished. We have finished these two, and I'm going to paint them with clear nail polish, and then I'll show them to you tomorrow. We have three UK backgrounds poured that are will be ready for letters tomorrow. We have an OU background poured, or thing poured with the letters that I poured the clear layer over. So it'll be ready to pop out tomorrow and finish. Um, then we've got an A and an S and an R and L and H and a K initial um, ones that have the clear layer poured over the letter. So they'll be ready to pop out tomorrow and finish. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten WVU ones with letters that will be ready to pop out tomorrow and finish. A UK one with letters that will be ready. And a purple sequin with a dog. <laughs> Okay, so what I will do tomorrow is I will pop all of these out when they're ready, after they're cured, and I'll show you all of them. You'll get to see all of them up close, what they look like when they're finished, and um, they'll be made into keychains, and I'll tell you how that we do that. It's real easy. So um, we will continue this part three tomorrow, and for those of you that have hung in this far, thank you so much, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.